guys, it's Rachel and welcome to the vlog. So today is so exciting because I am going to be fostering kittens again. I don't know if any of you saw my last video that I filmed last summer, but basically we fostered kittens and I did a vlog of it and oh my god, it's just like the cutest thing ever, fostering kittens. So we have done it three times now. Um, we did it once seven years ago and then we took like a massive break and we didn't do it again until last summer. And we had one lot in the summer and then we had one lot just like right at the end of autumn. So for those of you who don't know, kitten season is from April to October in the UK. So that's basically when the majority of the kittens are born. And our last lot of kittens were adopted in January. So we haven't had any since January and it is now the end of April. So I am like desperate for kittens. It's just the cutest thing ever for string kittens. So I'm so excited because we were like first on the waiting list for kittens. And there are kittens that are ready to collect this afternoon that I'm so, so, so excited for. Apparently there's going to be three of them and they're going to be six weeks old, which is like a great age because they're not super, super young, but they're not like too old. So they're still like playful, but they're really small and I'm like so excited. So I just want to show you our kitten setup at the moment. So I'm currently in my lounge. We have this cat tree, which has a load of toys on it all ready for them to play on, which is super cute. And we've got their crate next door. So basically because we have three cats and a dog ourselves, so they have to stay in a crate for like safety. Plus they're so young, they could like fit anywhere and they could chew wires and stuff. They will be allowed out to play a lot, like, but we have to supervise them. They're just too young to do that like by themselves. So they'll have to stay in here when we're not supervising them. But honestly, this crate is so cute. Like there's so many cute things in here. I wanna show you the setup. We've got some really like cozy, comfy things. I ordered this like gray fluffy basket from eBay and oh my God, it's so amazing. Um, so for those of you who are wondering, the RSPCA, they provide the crate because that's who we're like fostering with. They will provide litter, they provide food, they pay for the vet bills and um, literally, I didn't have to buy any of this stuff, but I just wanted to. Um, I wanted to get kitten stuff. So they kind of provide everything that you need. You don't have to pay anything, but if you want to, you know, buy extra cute things for them, then you can. So yeah, I bought them this basket and it's so cute. Like kittens love stuff that's fluffy. So I think they're going to love this. And then I had this old cushion in my room that I wasn't really using. It's from Primark. I remember it was like three pounds, but again, it's really fluffy. So I feel like their little paws are gonna love that so much. And then obviously because we're a pet family, we've already got three cats and a dog. We um, have a lot of like old stuff that can be given to the kitten. So we had like, this was my dog's blanket, but she never uses it. And this was my dog's cushion, but she never uses it. So um, we've put this in here for them as well to sleep on. And then this is a little like toy that they can like bat the ball around in so it's like safe for them to play with it on their own. All the other toys will have to stay out of the crate. But the RSPCA actually provided us with that so that's cute. And then I just put this box in here. Basically my friend gave me a Christmas gift that came in a box and I thought oh my god kittens love boxes. And our old lot of kittens that we had used to sleep in this box so I kept that because it's just cute you know cats love boxes. And then I also hung this little toy up here that the RSPCA also gave us just so that they've got something to play with whilst they're in the crate. And oh my God, it just looks so cozy and comfy. And then over here, we've got some like bowls. Um, again, these were all our own bowls that we had because we've got a load of pets, but I did actually recently buy this. It was like a pound from Home Bargains and it's so cute. I was like, oh my God, I have to get that. And then we've got this like little kitten paw print placemat which is so adorable and then we've just got the litter tray at the back and then basically up here you may have been seen this and wondered what this was but our last kittens got really bored in the crate we would let them out a lot but they just wanted to play a lot as well like kittens are so playful so i built them this like hammock which i basically tied a blanket up to both sides of the crate and they can like jump in here and they can like sit in it they can play in it they can run in it and they absolutely loved it last time so i'm really hoping that our new kittens will like it and oh my god i'm just so excited in a few hours there are going to be kittens in here so we've just arrived to collect the foster kittens and lexi came along for the ride all right now oh my gosh <laughs> it's so cute oh that's good, that's good. Oh. okay see you soon this one's got blue eyes. I know, how beautiful. Two white and black. And well, they're all white and black, but one's oh. more black and white. Oh. oh. <laughs> they are 
are so cute. We've just got them home and we're going to put them in the crate. Lexi loves them. Tail wagging. <laughs> no problem getting in the litter tray. Oh, they're so cute. No. Oh my god, they're so cute. I don't know if I said, but they're all girls and we get to choose their names. So I don't know what to call them. I've got a list on my phone of potential kitten names. Lexi's trying to get their food. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So we've got this whole list of like possible girl kitten names on my phone um, to name them because we're not sure what to name them. And also we wanted to choose names that we wouldn't choose for our future pets. So these are all like all kids. So these are like names that we like, but we don't like love enough to call our own pets names because like I couldn't call a foster kitten a name and then call my own pet that name because it's like they've taken that name, if that makes sense. Do you love them, Lexi? <laughs> Tilly doesn't usually like the foster kittens very much. She often hisses at them. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> the kitten and Tilly just hissed at each other. Oh my gosh, they are absolutely adorable. Okay, so we decided on their names. This little black and white one is Izzy. Oh. And we've decided to call the white ones Tia and Mia. <laughs> so we've got this one here. Oh, they're moving too quickly. But the one that has the black spot on is Mia and the other one is Tia. <laughs> and Mia and Tia both have blue eyes. Tia has one blue eye and one green eye. And Mia has two blue eyes. How sweet is that? They're very playful and very sweet and they're not scared at all. Like our last foster kittens were quite scared, understandably, when we got them. These are not scared at all. Just pick them up and pop them all on the hammock and they're so sweet. Oh my gosh. I actually can't deal with their cuteness. Like I could just sit and watch this all day. I probably will sit and watch this all day. I'm going to get nothing productive done today, but I will. My heart is actually melting at these kittens. They are so, so cute. They also seem really crazy. Like, I think they're gonna be so playful. Oh my gosh. Literally, they haven't stopped playing since they got in here. So it's a couple of days later and the girlies are settling in really well. They are so happy. They are absolutely gorgeous and it's really nice because they're not scared at all. They weren't scared to come here. They're so happy and it's really lovely. They're lovely and healthy. So I'm just about to let them out to play and we collected this stuff from the RSPCA for them to play with. And oh my God, they're going to love this so much. Look at this tunnel. They're going to have so much fun in that tunnel. It's so cute. And we got them some like more toys and stuff. So I'm going to let them out. so far we found that when they're out they just want to play but it's easiest to get a cuddle from Tia she likes um, to be stroked they're like trying to figure out how to play with this toy there's a ball in it here look you have to push it They're in the tunnel. <laughs> oh, she doesn't understand how to get in, bless her. Mia! 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 Look! Wee! There! 
paper. it is a little while later now and the kittens have all been adopted we are kittenless again which is so sad but i loved having them so so much having kittens is amazing but kitten leaving day is like the worst day ever you get so attached to them it's ridiculous these kittens were the happiest purriest little kittens ever and they would literally sleep in our arms like babies which was the cutest thing ever like I absolutely loved them I really as with all the kittens I fostered I really didn't want them to go but you know you can't keep all of them whenever I talk to people about fostering kittens I get the same response every time oh I could never give them up it's literally what everyone says like do you think I find it easy like no I spend all of kitten leaving day crying basically so does my mum um it's not easy to give them up but if I'd have kept all the kittens and cats that we fostered over the years I'd have like 15 pets right now so you know you just you can't keep them all as much as you want to but for me personally I'd rather have had that experience that one or two months of them being in my lives and getting to like love them and care for them than have never even have met them at all and that's what would have happened if I would just said oh no sorry it's too hard for me to give them up I can't do that I never would have met them, I never would have got to cuddle them, I never would have got to know their little personalities and for me, like, I would much rather have all of that experience but then have to give them away. And usually the people who adopt them are really nice and they send us updates. We give them our number and just say, you know, we've loved caring for them, please could you send us some pictures and updates on how they're doing and most of the people do that. In the past, like obviously before lockdown and stuff, we've been to visit a few of them to see how they're doing and it's really, really nice to do that. So yes, it is a hard process, it's hard giving them away, but oh my gosh, it's so worth it for being able to care for them and love them. They're just so cute. Kittens are so cute. I'm sorry, but if you don't, if you say you don't like kittens, like, I, I don't understand you <laughs> because they're just adorable. They're amazing. I do get quite a lot of questions about fostering and I was thinking about potentially doing like a fostering Q&A and I did ask for questions which and I got a few but not that many so I think I'm going to do that again I'm going to do a fostering Q&A and if you have any questions I'd be super grateful if you could leave them in the comment section down below and I will answer as many of them as I can because it is a really great process and I think a lot of people don't realise that it is pretty much like cost free as well. People keep asking if we're getting new kittens and the answer to that is yes we really really want new kittens but they don't actually currently have any that need fostering which they've said is very very unusual like normally at this time of year it's kitten season they have so many that need fostering they don't often have enough foster homes but I think something to do with obviously the current situation um they haven't got as many as normal so we're just waiting for when they do um um, yeah, we just love having them. We just want to kind of keep having them like all year round really because they're amazing I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye